Welcome back to GTS News. I'm your host, Wanda Mellon. Thank you for joining us today. You all know our chief meteorologist, Melinda, would normally give you the weather report, but um, today we are joined by a guest anchor, uh, Google Translate. <laughs> hi, hi, hello. Um, and they are going to be giving us the weather report together, I believe. Uh, let's see how this goes. Take it away, Melinda. Thank you, Wanda. We are in for lots of ups and downs this week. Let's take a look at the map here. Thanks, water. We are running juice this week. This map has been taken. Right now, we're seeing clear skies, but to the west of us, we've got a cold front coming in, and with it, some possible snow later in the week, with an expected accumulation of four inches. We can see lightning, but in the west, as they are, there is the cold of the face of the face, but for the end of the week of the minute, Caesar four but waiting for the light. However, let's take a look at the weekend. But let's forget this week. Uh, tomorrow we have partly cloudy skies, a maximum high of 57 and a low of 42 degrees. Tomorrow we'll get spiders scattered, at least 70, and at least 40 degrees. Warmer than usual for this time of year, with a humidity around 20%. 20% of wet sugars are used for killing in the first few years. Average winds steady from the northeast at 9 miles per hour. A major windstorm in the northeast will be prolonged to 9 years. For the next few days we will see the same pattern with temperatures dropping into the mid 40s and then on Wednesday we will start to feel the effects of that cold front coming in. In the near future we will see pictures in the mid 1940s but we will feel the results of this cold war Wednesday. Temperatures will hit around 35 degrees and overnight we'll start to see some flurries as the snow gets heavier throughout the day on Thursday as temperatures drop to 30 with a low of 25 degrees. Panda all the time. Heat is ideal for 25 seconds. This is enough that in higher elevation areas we may see some ice on the roads, so please drive carefully or avoid the roads, especially bridges if you can. However, fears of flying sea ice accept others. We will also see the winds pick up quite a bit on Wednesday with gusts up to 15 miles per hour and will continue into Thursday as well. Since Jupiter's death, some of them, even the victims of the 15,000 miles per hour, have come to arrest the Frisbee. So if you're within the zone of the storm, please keep a close eye on GTS News as we will be announcing the various school and government closures. If you live in the hurricane area, keep an eye on GTS News closely as we will announce the shutdown of school and government. Too soon. You may wind up with a snow day on Thursday, so check back with us to see what call your district will make. We can clean up the sun on Thursday. See us see what your block is. We're stalking you. Enjoy the warmer weather this weekend because it won't last long. The analysis did not last long because the hot air and celebration. Back to you, Wanda. Come on, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, thank you both for that uh, award-worthy reporting. And with that ends our programming and... Oh, I've just received word that we have new merchandise available down below and in the little eye right here to celebrate five years of us being on YouTube. Very, very exciting. So if you'd like to check that out, right down below and in the eye over here. And if you would like to support the videos that we do, do check us out on Patreon. Thank you all so very much. Be sure you are subscribed with your notification bell on and let me know in the comments what you would like me to translate next. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Mwah.